You've done a lot of work in the transportation sector. Were you surprised to see uh, Warren Buffett's uh, big bet on Burlington? Well, yeah, but I suppose nobody should be really surprised at what uh, what he does. Um, he had a large stake in that company, and uh, he is essentially, the way I see it, making an excellent cycle bet. Freight volumes are, are way down, um, but the rails uh, have incredible persistence. There's only the, s the six majors, uh, and essentially, if you want to move freight along the northern, northwestern United States, east to west, you really only have one option, and that's uh, he bought it, and he bought it at a good price. We also recently saw Fortress take Rail America public. Uh, I'm, it just seems like a lot of activity in a short period of time in the rail industry. Do you expect to see more? I think so, because uh, the rails really, if you consider the, where their volumes, their freight volumes, they've held up better than most. And the rail renaissance, which is essentially a, a complete recalibration of the pricing of rail freight, which has enabled the rails to be much more profitable and much more higher margin than most anybody thought they could be. That's ongoing. That pricing dynamic still exists. It's very different. Not only are they the low-cost alternative uh, for freight, but um, they're also very difficult to replace uh, when you need them. So they have a, a, a pricing power that they didn't take advantage of for years, and that makes them very attractive uh, assets. And it means that they probably are worth more than the kinds of multiples we've, we've all become accustomed to seeing them trade at.